Father, we give you praise this session. Top days we Your worship you. King of kings and Lord of lords, the one that loves us so passionately, we worship you, Lord Jesus. We honor you, ancient of days. Oh, thank you, Father, for this wonderful day, another day you have made. Oh, thank you, Father. We will rejoice and be glad in this day. Father, we love you so passionately, Lord. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Father, for the love you have for us, Lord. Oh, we give you praises in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit of the Most High God, the Spirit of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I am nothing without you. I ask that you use me as your microphone to speak to your word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the word that is coming to the whole world. And let Jesus Christ be glorified now. I am so confident, oh God, that your children will be healed, your children will be saved, your children will be favored. Miraculous things will happen now. There will be signs and wonders, Lord. You will do wonders with that number. Bless the name, Lord. In Jesus' name, Daddy, this dance is not a barrier. It's not about their nationality. It's not about their religion. It's about Jesus. Thank you, Father, for the love you have for the world. And your word is coming now. In Jesus' wonderful name, I have prayed. Thank you, Father, that I give you praises. Thank you, Father. It's on that day the Lord has met. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Praise be to God. Thank you, ancient of days. It's a month of good news. Oh, I have a good news for someone. I have a good news for you. I have a good news for your family. I have a good news for your city. Thank you, Father. You are God's favorite. I say you are God's favorite. You are God's favorite. Oh, thank you, ancient of days. You are the best. You are God's favorite. I say you are God's favorite. You are so special to God. You are so special. You are God's favorite. And something that will happen in your life now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Oh, beloved, you are God's favorite. You are so special to God. And I know that all the blessings God ordained for you, the spiritual blessings, the financial blessings, no one will elude you. No one will elude your family. No one will elude your community. No one will elude your city. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are God's favorite. Because of you, your family members will be favored now. Because of you, your community, your city will be favored. In the name of Jesus, stay patient of days. In Jesus' name, because of Noah, his family members were saved. His family members were favored. His family members were blessed. Because of you, because you are God's favorite, something great will happen in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, let me show you some scriptures. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, bless you, the name, Lord. Because there are questions. People are asking a lot of questions. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. And there are things we cannot ask God. Oh, there are questions we cannot ask God. He says, Esau I hate, but Jacob I love. Thank you, Father. Esau I hate, but Jacob I that said it. I am not the one that said it. Is God Almighty, the God of all possibilities. Oh, thank you, Father. The Bible captured that in Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Oh, he says, Jacob I loved, but Esau I hated. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Bless the name, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. I know you have been asking questions. Some people have been asking questions. Are there people, are there people that are so special? Praise God. Oh, do you know you are so special? You are among the ones that are special. I say that you are God's favorite. You are among the ones that are special. For the fact that you are here at this moment, you are among the ones that are special. Oh, you are God's favorite. I say you are God's favorite the same way God favored Noah and his family. That's how he will favor you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. He is the same yesterday, the same today. And the same forever. He has not changed. My God has not changed. And he will not change in your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Oh, the question, like I said, is it really possible 
for some to be classified or seen as God's favorites. Is it possible for some to be classified as God's favorite? Yes, it's possible. It's possible. Let's see the scriptures. See, number one, the story of Noah. Praise God, the story of Noah. You can see that in Genesis chapter 6 and verse 7. The story of Noah. Oh, thank you, Father. So the Lord said, I will wipe my kind who I have created. The God of all possibilities, he created all things. He said, I will wipe mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth, men and animals and creatures that move along the ground and base of the earth, for I am grieved that I have made them. God was so angry, he regretted creating man. He was in compulsion instead of compulsion. And he said, I will wipe mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth. Praise God. That's God's word. And the Bible says in verse 8, that's same Genesis chapter 6, verse 8, but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Praise God. You see, in verse 7, God said, I will wipe my kind, oh, whom I have created. And verse 8, the Bible recorded that Noah found favor. Noah was on earth. When God said, I will wipe my kind. As a matter of fact, Noah was a descendant of Adam. The same Adam that introduced sins. But Noah found favor. Ten patient of days. Also, the Israelites in Egypt, they found favor. They were God's favorite. The Israelites in Egypt were God's favorite. They were so special to God. Praise God. Now, go to Exodus chapter 8 and verse 22. Look at that. But on that day, I will deal differently with the land of Goshen, where my people live, where my favorites live. Where my special ones live. The fourth hand says, No swarms of flies will be there, so that you will know that I, the Lord, I am in this land. Praise God. That's God's word. And that's what happened. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You see, the Egyptians were crying and complaining because of the plagues, because of the sicknesses, because of what Moses introduced by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Egyptians were complaining, but the Israelites were rejoicing. Nothing happened to the Israelites. God's favorites were rejoicing. In that same city, in that same country, Egypt, there were plagues everywhere, but nothing happened to those in Goshen. Goshen was a place where God's favorites were dwelling. We had the Israelites, we had, well, let's take that scripture again. But on that day, I will deal differently with the land of Goshen, where my people live. No swarms of flies, oh, thank you, Father, will be there, so that you will know that I, the Lord, are in this land. God was there, and he ensured that no plague, nothing happened to his favorites. Thank you, Father, there are God's favorites. There are God's favorites. God has favorites. And for the fact that you are listening to me, you can enjoy this in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, the Bible recorded that terrible things were happening in Egypt. Like I said, Goshen is in Egypt. But nothing happened to those in Goshen. Goshen is in Egypt. In Egypt, nothing happened to them. Just like Abuja. Abuja is in Nigeria. Lagos is in Nigeria. New York is in America. Yes. Douala is in Cameroon. Other cities we are affected. Terrible things were happening to other people. But the people in Goshen, nothing happened to them. Because of God's special people. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that you are in the world, but not of the world. You are so special. The things that are happening to others will not happen to you. What will happen to you will be good things. 
good things, favorable things will happen to those that are in Christ, those that are in Goshen, those that are in the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Remember the two kinds of exodus. I just want to explain this before I proceed. The two kinds of exodus. The first one happened in Egypt. The Israelites led the Egypt. That's exodus. And that kind of exodus is coming. So don't forget that. Rapture. The second exodus. We had the church. When the church, the Christians, will be taken out of this world and meet with the Lord Jesus Christ in the air. From there to heaven. Praise God. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Father. Now, how can one become God's favorite or God's special one? I know you want to be God's favorite. You want to be his favorite. You want to enjoy what Noah enjoyed. As a matter of fact, you are going to enjoy better ones because we're in a better covenant. Noah enjoyed God was in the old covenant. The Israelites were in the old covenant. Praise God. The Israelites were in the old covenant. You will enjoy better covenants. And for the fact that the better covenant, you will enjoy better things than what Israelites enjoyed. Praise God. So how can one become God's favorite? God's favorite. You see, it's so simple. When you believe Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you become God's favorite. The moment you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you become God's favorite, God's special one. Praise God. I know someone is confused. I will explain everything to you. The Lord will open your eyes to understand in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Now, what does believing do? If you believe, what happens? See, when you believe, you enter into covenant, a covenant with God. And the covenant will be sealed by the blood of Jesus. The moment you believe, you enter into a covenant with God. Praise God. And the covenant will be sealed by the blood of Jesus Christ. The moment you believe, Abraham believed, and it was recorded unto him as righteousness. Praise God. Believe Jesus as Lord and Savior. You enter into a covenant with the Lord. And you begin to enjoy God's Component. Praise God. You see, Esau never did anything. Esau never offended God. In his womb, it was declared. Or in her uh, 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 mother's womb, it was declared. He was in her mother, he, he, his mother's womb. He was in his mother's womb when that proclamation came. When that declaration came that Esau I had, but Jacob I love. Praise God. He didn't do anything. But what happened? Covenant played a role. A covenant played a role. Abraham and God had a covenant. That through Abraham, that seed, that seed God talked about in Genesis chapter 3. That that seed, through Abraham, that seed will come. And that seed is Jesus. Because of the covenant. God had with Abraham. He said, Esau, I hate Jacob, I love. He chose Jacob in his mother's womb. Praise God. Thank you, Father. He chose Jacob. So the covenant played a role. The covenant played a role. You see, Ishmael was there, but Isaac was chosen. Ishmael was there, but Isaac was chosen because of that seed. From Isaac, you see Jacob. Because of that seed, the covenant was playing a special, a special role. That's why you are God's favorite. You are so special. Like I said, the moment you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you have entered into a covenant with God. And covenant to begin to play roles in your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bless the name, Lord. Now, when you believe, like I said, when you believe, you have entered into a covenant. John 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed on him will never perish, 
but have everlasting life. A covenant. If you believe you have entered a covenant, you will have everlasting life. If you don't believe, there's no covenant. If you believe, there is a covenant. The same covenant Abraham had with God. As a matter of fact, our own is better than the one Abraham had. But the same process, Abraham believed in God and it was recorded to him as righteousness. So if you believe, you have entered into a covenant automatically. You see, Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You will be saved. Mm -hmm. You have entered the covenant. You have entered the covenant. Again, in John chapter 6 and verse 40, Jesus Christ says, For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Covenant. Believe. Praise God. Praise God. Again, in verse 47 of John chapter 6, I tell you the truth. He who believes has everlasting life. He who believes has everlasting life. That's the covenant agreement. Believe and the agreement to be sealed. Praise God. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. La Krabra Shunda La Karabru Shundro Shundra Ha Kabru Muzindala. But I give you praises, oh God, the God of all possibilities. This is a special news for your special people. Those that believe have entered and entered a special covenant with you. A special covenant, a everlasting covenant. And they have become your favorite. Noah believed you. Noah walked with you. Noah accepted you. When others rejected you, Noah accepted accepted you, and Noah enjoyed favor. He became your favorite. Terrible things happened to others, but Noah was rescued. His family members were rescued. Oh, thank you, Father. Abraham entered a covenant with you, and great things happened even to his children, children, children. Mighty God, I give you praises. How much more the real covenant, the main covenant that you have established, that you have offered. Thank you, Father. Anyone that believes that Jesus Christ is Lord has entered that covenant. Thank you, Father. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you, Father. Amen. See, those that believe you have entered an everlasting covenant. Covenant of what? Number one, covenant of salvation. Covenant of salvation. Noah believed. Noah believed. He entered into a covenant of salvation. Noah was saved. Others drowned. Noah and his family. Noah and his family were saved. Because of that covenant, he believed. Praise God. Noah was saved. He enjoyed that covenant of salvation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Like Cabra Oh, thank you, Father. Those that believe have entered into a covenant of salvation, covenant of provision. When others are crying, God will make provisions for you. You remember, even in the wilderness, God provided all the things the Israelites needed water, food, meat, everything. Everything was released because of the covenant. Thank you for those that believe have entered, entered an everlasting covenant of divine health. Divine health. You have entered into a covenant of divine health. And I know that no weapon from that gains will prosper. Hey. Oh, we are hearing of coronavirus. It's not for you because you are God's favorite. No. Praise God. Yeah, Praise it. God. You are God's favorite. You are in the world, but you are not of the world. Hey. You are in this world, but you are not of the world. Mm. The Israelites were in Egypt, but they did not suffer what the Egyptians suffered. Egyptians suffered different plagues. Terrible things, more terrible things than coronavirus. But, that, but the plagues, the problems never entered Goshen. And the Bible is saying, and God is saying that you are God's favorite. And you have a better covenant, a new covenant, a better covenant. Which means that coronavirus will never come near you. You will enjoy divine health. Because of you, your city will enjoy divine health. 
in the name of Jesus. No sickness will come near you. No virus, no fungus, no bacterium, no kind of sickness will come near you. Malaria will not come near you. High blood pressure will not come near you. Stroke will not come near you. Poverty will not come near you because poverty is a disease. It will come near you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, you have entered into a covenant of prosperity. All our blessings, that's the covenant you have entered. It worked it, for the people in the past, the Old Testament people. It will work for you in a better way because we are in a better covenant. Praise God. Thank you, ancient of days. You see, Noah believed. Noah believed. Praise God. The Israelites enjoyed a covenant. Noah believed. Why the Israelites enjoy the covenant? So make the two now believe and enjoy the covenant. Noah believed. He enjoyed. The Israelites enjoyed the covenant Abraham had with God. Praise God. Ten patient of days. Bless the name of Lord. Like I said, Noah and his family members were saved. Noah and his family members were saved. You can see that in Genesis chapter 7. Also, Noah and his family members were remembered. Yes, they were remembered. God remembered them. You can see that in Genesis chapter 8, especially verse 1. Noah and his family members were blessed. You can see that in Genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. God blessed them and asked them to be fruitful. The covenant worked for them. They believed. The moment Noah believed, the covenant was established. Mighty God, I give you praises. You see, believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you will enjoy better things Noah and his family members enjoyed. Praise God. Like I said, the Israelites were remembered because of the covenant. When they were tortured in Egypt, God remembered the covenant. The covenant made them special. They were God's favorite because of the covenant. They were God's special people because of the covenant. Praise God. I said they were God's special people because of the covenant. Thank you, Father. Bless you the name of God. God remembered them because of the covenant. They were so special. They didn't do anything, but God remembered them because of the covenant, and they were favored. They were separated. They were distinguished. They were protected. They were preserved. God provided for them. Why others were crying in Egypt? That same city. Even in your city, in your city, in our city, in our country, in this city, we are so special. The evil things that are happening will never come near us. We are God's special people. Though we are in Nigeria, we are in this world, we are in this country, we are not of the world. We belong to heaven. We are seated with Christ in the heavenly places, far above poverty, far above sicknesses, far above diseases, far above troubles, far above Nigerian economy, far above your country's economy. You are seated with Christ. You are God's favorite. You are God's special one. And that's who you are in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, ancient of days, in Jesus' name. The Israelites were remembered, like I said. They were remembered. The same way Noah and his family members were remembered. The Israelites were protected. The same way Noah and his family members were protected. The Israelites were delivered. The same way Noah and his family members were delivered. Praise God. Look at the people that lived in the past, in the, old, in the old, in the old covenant. Like I said, you are in a better covenant. You will enjoy better covenant in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, ancient of days. That I give you praise, I give you glory. Mighty God, I give you praises. Thank you. For, like I said, when you believe Jesus as Lord and Savior, you have entered into a covenant with God. The covenant begins to work for you. You become God's favorite. You become God's favorite. Before I pray for you, I want to give someone the opportunity. I want to give you the opportunity to accept, to, to be born again, to make peace with God, to enter into a covenant with God Almighty. If you are not born again, I want to pray with you. Something great to begin to happen. You begin to enjoy, God, enjoy God's favor. You become God's favorite. 
you become a special one. If you are born again, I will pray with you this moment. Something going to begin to happen. Those things you are not experiencing in your marriage, in your business, you begin to experience them. By the power of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. If you want to be born again, I want to pray with you. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe with all my heart that you are the Son of God. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. You bear the price. Oh, you died for me at the cross of Calvary. Oh, my sins all have been removed by your blood. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You were buried for me. You were raised on the third day. You are alive. You are seated in heaven. And you are coming by for me. I believe that you are the Son of God. Oh, today I declare as I have believed that you are my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you, ancient of days. If you have prayed a prayer, congratulations. You are born again. You are God's favorite. You are God's favorite. The contract has been established. The Bible says that you are God's favorite. The same way Noah enjoyed, the same way the Israelites enjoyed, that's how you'll enjoy in the name of Jesus. Oh, believe me, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Is written concerning you in Isaiah 54 and verse 17 that no weapon formed against you will prosper. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Like I said, you are far above poverty, you are far above sicknesses, you are far above coronavirus, you are far above barrenness, you are far above sorrow. You are far above lack. You are far above divorce. You are far above barrenness. You are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Thank you, ancient of days, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare you healed. You are healed. You are blessed. You are favored in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, ancient of days, in Jesus' name. Finally, let's pray this prayer. Oh, you can follow me to Ephesians. Oh, thank you, ancient of days. Oh, it's Ephesians prayer. Oh, Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 3 to 9. We pray this prayer and something going to begin to happen in your life. Oh, you claim what belongs to you in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has blessed us, who has blessed me in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus Christ. That is for you. I say that is for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. I say you are God's favorite. You are holy. You are blameless. You are God's righteousness in Christ Jesus. He chose you and he has made you righteous. Thank you, ancient of days, and for the fact that God's righteousness in Christ Jesus, when God looks at you, he sees Jesus. He sees Jesus the same way he loves Jesus. That's how he loves you. The same way he favors Jesus, that's how he favors you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that I give you praises. Verse 4 says, For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us to be adopted as his sons through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to, be, to the praise of his glorious grace. Praise God. Which he, oh, thank you, Father, which he has finally, oh, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. In the one he loves. We are sharing that same love. The way he loved Jesus, that's how he loves you because you are his favorite. You are his favorite because of Jesus. Jesus lives in you. God sees Jesus and he favors you. God sees Jesus and he blesses you. Thank you, Father. I give you praises, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. In verse 7, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins in accordance with the riches of God's grace that he lavished on us with all wisdom and understanding. And he made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure. 
which he proposed in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Begin to appreciate God for what he has done this moment. That I give you praises for what you have done. You love me so much. I am your favorite. I remain your favorite forever. Oh, you that are watching me, you are God's favorite. I say you are God's favorite. You are God's special one. In the name of Jesus, you that are listening to me right now, you are God's special one. This task is not a barrier. You are God's favorite. Great things are happening in your life. Great things are happening in your family right now. Because of you, miraculous things are happening now. Because of you, that yoke is destroyed. Because of you, barrenness has disappeared. You are making progress in your business. You are making progress academically. You are making progress spiritually. I say you are God's favorite. If you are one million looking for one thing, you are the favorite one. You will get that job. You will get that job. They will select you because you are God's favorite. No one can reject you. No one can reject you. You cannot struggle to be married. You are the one that will be chosen. They have chosen you. He has chosen you. You are God's favorite. I say you are God's favorite. Bless every name, Lord. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Thank you, Father. The Lord has done something great. Oh, bless be the name, Lord Jesus. Oh, I give you praises, Lord. Thank you, Father, for using me. My name is Pastor Chidi Onyesom, the gatekeeper, Seven Act Christian Ministries, number 10 Arab Road, Kubwa Abuja. Oh, God is so good. Feel free to call me. My number is 081-64-3444-58. Feel free to visit our website for more messages, www.sevenarc.org. Thank you, of days. In Jesus' name, we have done all this. Amen. Amen.